from the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Thank you, Johnny, and welcome everyone to another exciting game of Jeopardy! Thanks, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy! Have fun, and good luck to all of you. Thank you, Johnny. Welcome to Jeopardy! We've got a great game lined up for you. Here are the categories for the Jeopardy! round. Let's see if you like these first round categories. Let's get to the categories for Double Jeopardy. Let's see if you like these categories in the Double Jeopardy round. Welcome to the Jeopardy! solo game. It's just like a regular game, except you're on your own. There are no opponents. So good luck and have some fun. Congratulations, you now qualify for our Tournament of Champions. Hi, and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. You know, only the very best players are invited to participate in our tournament. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. Player one, what'll it be? Player one, your turn. Player one? Your choice, player one. Player two, you choose. Player two? It's your turn, player two. Your choice, player two. Okay, player three. Player three, it's your turn. Player three, what will it be? If you would, player three. Yes. Definitely. Exactly. You're correct. Right you are. Yes, indeed. You got it. That's right. That's it. Well done, yes. Oh, no, sorry. No, that's not right, sorry. Oh, that's incorrect. Nice try, but that is incorrect. Good answer, but sorry, that's wrong. Oh, regrettably, no. No, I'm sorry. Ooh, sorry. Here's what we were looking for. I'll have to ask the judges if they're going to accept that response. Okay, good. Yes. I'll need to ask the judges about that. Yeah? You got it. Ooh, we're going to need a ruling on that one. Okay, the judges give it to you. So pick again. I'll have to ask the judges if they'll accept that response. Oh, sorry. They can't give it to you. I'm going to need to confer with the judges on that. No, sorry. I'll need to ask the judges about that. And their response? No, sorry. Ooh, could you be a little more specific on that one, please? More precise, please. Ooh, sorry, that's too vague. I'm going to need more. Player one, please make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? That's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the scores. Let's take a look and see how everyone's doing after the Jeopardy round. That's the end of the double Jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores. That brings us to the end of the double Jeopardy round. So let's take a quick look at the scores. That's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's see how you're doing. That's the end of the double Jeopardy round. So let's take a look at your score. Are you ready for double Jeopardy? All right, let's go. Let's move on to Double Jeopardy. There are two daily doubles awaiting you on this board. Let's get started. Now it's time for the Double Jeopardy round. Dollar values double, and we have two daily doubles for you on the board. Sorry, player one, you can't continue on with us in Final Jeopardy. Sorry, player two, but you can't continue with us in Final Jeopardy. Player three, sorry, you can't continue on with us in Final Jeopardy. All right, now it's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Now, if the other players would please turn away while player one makes their wager. If the other players could please turn away while player two makes their wager. If the other players could please turn away while player three makes the wager. Go ahead, make your wager. If the other players could please turn away while player one writes in their question. The other players could please turn away now while player two writes in the question.
Could the other players please turn away while player three writes in the question? Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Here is the final Jeopardy answer. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck to all of you. All right, let's see how everyone did. Well, how did everyone manage with that clue? All right, let's see if anyone came up with the right question. Let's see if you got the right question. Congratulations to our winner, player one. Our big winner, player one. Congratulations to our winner, player two. Our big winner, player two. Let's hear it for our winner, player three. Our big winner, player three. That's all for the solo game. Let's see how you made out. And that's all for the Tournament of Champions game. Let's see how everyone did. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody. See you again on our next game of Jeopardy. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for playing Jeopardy. Bye for now. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alex Trebek, and I want to welcome you to the Jeopardy contestant exam. Now, in some ways, this is tougher than the actual show because there are 50 questions in 50 different categories. Fortunately, you don't have to get them all right. A score of 35 or over is considered a passing grade here. So good luck, and I'll talk to you again after the test. Congratulations on your great score. If you'd like more information on how to become a contestant on the television show, go to Jeopardy.com or here's the address to write to. Well done, and we'll see you next time. I'm sorry to say you didn't pass, but please come back and try again anytime. So long for now. Answer a video daily double. The answer is an audio daily double. Answer the daily double. Answer the other daily double. The answer is our last daily double. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. I believe that we must try to limit the war to Korea for these vital reasons. We have strong circumstantial evidence linking the perpetrators of this latest atrocity. I would have been surprised if, if uh, and, and, and hurt as anybody. All attempts to destroy democracy by terrorism will fail. I always did like a man in a uniform. That one fits you grand. I came to the United States in 1973 to host a show called Wizard of Odds, and I've been very fortunate since then to have been gainfully employed most of the time. I had hosted Wheel of Fortune for a period of one week to replace an ailing Chuck Woolery, who was the regular host at that time, and I did that for the Merv Griffin people. And I guess they remembered me, and when they brought back Jeopardy! into syndication in 1984, they called me and said, look, we're going to bring back this old game show called Jeopardy! Would you like to host it? And I said, yeah, sure, it's a great show. My job as the host is to uh, provide an atmosphere in which the contestants can do their very best. It's like that uh, U.S. Army commercial, be all you can be. We want our contestants to be all they can be. We want them to do well. We want them to win a lot of money. Well, I come in early on tape day. We usually tape two days a week, and we'll do three weeks on, one week off, that kind of thing. I will start at about 8 o'clock in the morning going over the five games that we will be taping that day. I look at all of the material, all of the clues. If there are words that I'm not familiar with, I look them up in dictionaries. If there are foreign words, I ask our researchers to help me with those. It's exciting for me. It's exciting for the people in the audience because they haven't had a chance to see us, and they probably never will unless they come to Los Angeles. And so it's a plus plus for them and for us, and also for the viewers, because then the viewers get to uh, enjoy the excitement and see that Jeopardy! can be a very special kind of program. In our very first celebrity tournament, 
Cheech Marin was the winner, Cheech of Cheech and Chong. And a lot of people came up to me afterwards and they were very surprised because they had been led to believe that Cheech was exactly as the character he portrays on film and on stage at that time. They thought he's kind of a loose cannon and he's into uh, smoking uh, marijuana all the time and is probably not very bright. But no, he was very bright and a good player. The best part of the job is the 30 minutes I spend on stage with the contestants. I've always enjoyed flying and I thought as a young boy that I would love to be a pilot, probably in the Air Force, because those planes go faster than passenger planes in civilian aircraft. And if I weren't involved in flying, I might have gone into politics or I might have wound up being in medicine somehow, either as a surgeon or a psychiatrist, so I could analyze myself. The core of Jeopardy is the writing, and fortunately I have co-producers and head writers, a, a, a wonderful staff of writers and researchers who um, are responsible for the, the heart and soul of the show, which is the game material itself. We had a lot of the Washington elite compete as our Power Players Week on the show, so that's been fun. We've been to New York, we've got other remotes in the works. That seems to have energized the show quite a bit. Alex Trebek brings credibility to the show, not only in the way in which he hosts it, but by virtue of the fact that he cares so much about the integrity of the show and is such a professional that I think that comes through in his performance. Read everything you can possibly get your hands on. Watch everything that you can possibly watch. Always open up your mind to learning something new in an area that you didn't think you might need to know about, because now with Jeopardy, you will need to know about it. You have to be well-rounded. You have to be interested in a, a wide variety of things, and uh, everything from history to sports to you know what's on today, the cover of today's L.A. Times. I think it was uh, dead celebrities, but they wouldn't let me do that one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll get that in one day. We had one called um, Dr. Seuss Meets the Bard, and we had uh, different quotes from Shakespeare as if uh, Dr. Seuss had actually written them, and I thought that was quite amusing. Got a lot of laughs anyway. The best part of my job is that every day is an adventure, and I don't have to join the Navy for it to be an adventure. Everything we do is... Uh, is exciting and anything you're interested in can become material to put in the show. There's not an area we won't go to and be interested in as part of the job. I met some of the celebrities including Clint Eastwood and uh, Merv and uh, from meeting these people I ended up uh, expressing an interest that I wanted to come to Hollywood and work. There are certain responsibilities that uh, the stage manager does by making sure all those elements are, are in place, looking at that schedule, and when it comes time to tape a show, make sure that everybody is in its place. And I get on and I, on my headset and I can tell the director, I say, hey, we're ready, let's go. Now, the lockout device can be your best friend or it could be your worst enemy. If it's your best friend, uh, you see that there are people who, uh, who, who operate that, that button with such ease and they uh, manage to get in all the time. The more relaxed a person is on stage, the better they seem to do out there. Well, uh, since my career in show business started uh, a long time ago, when I was about 17, started out as a uh, singer, professional singer, and traveled for years with that. Uh, then I did a stint in the Army uh, and special services, and uh, that was also in show business. And then I went to New York in 1960 and been doing television ever since. And I worked as a professional singer for several years. and That helped me an awful lot, by the way, in television because I studied with a... Uh, classical singing teacher and that helped me with the breathing and how to use the voice and so forth. 
I did The Price is Right with Bill Cullen, one with Burt Parks called Yours for a Song. Uh, and then I worked with Dick Clark on the $25,000 Pyramid for a long time. John Davidson on the $100,000 Pyramid. Did the Dinah Shore program for eight years with the wonderful Dinah Shore. And of course, uh, Circus of the Stars and People's Choice Awards. And I've been doing a show for the last several years that the kids really love called Supermarket Sweep, uh, along with Jeopardy. I think the main thing that is they're updated now by all types of computer systems and so forth. Uh, the original Jeopardy, for instance, they had people standing behind the board raising cards to reveal uh, the responses. And now we have about nine different computer systems that run the show. Probably the most fun really is uh, when Alex and I are out in front of the audience sometime carrying on a lot of kibitzing and that type of thing. Working with the live audiences is fun. For kids 10, 12 years old, our teen tournaments are wonderful, the college tournaments are exciting, uh, all the way up through the seniors. So everybody can watch the show and be involved in it. Now, Jeopardy, you know, is different from other shows. Uh, on The Price is Right, if somebody re uh, wins a refrigerator, they get hysterical, crying, jumping up and down and grabbing uh, the host. On this show, you can win $50,000 and you shake Alex's hand. I was so delighted, and when we found out we were going on the road, we have our second set now so we can travel with it. And there we're dealing with three, 4,000 people in the audience for every show. And it's such a thrill because they're so anxious to see how we do Jeopardy. Most of them will never ever have a chance to come into the studio. I mean, I started on this show uh, so long ago I was young when I started this on this show, and that was 1984, the first year I was the booth AD and I edited the first season. And then I went back to Merv Griffin's show, who created it, for a year, and then 1986 came back here permanent, and 1991, I think, I started directing. When you go on the road and you see 4,500 people going crazy for Alex or crazy for a certain contestant, you feel uh, proud of what you're doing. I think the more aggressive you are on this show, the better off you are. You can't wait till the answer pops in your mind. You've got to say, history, I'm good at this. He reads the question, you ring in, and then you've got to have the presence of mind and the coolness to just pull it out of the air, give the answer, and go on to the next one. He loves what he's doing. He's great with the contestants. He calms them down when they need calming down, and, and he gets them a little excited when they need to be excited. He's like an arbitrator out there. He's, he's impartial, but he wants the show to be great every night. Here we come, everyone. Stand by. We have speed in. Five, four, three, two. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Now entering the studio are today's contestants. Presbyopia, I'm going to do it. He can't say for that soon. I'm going to be the spokesperson. He's just playing me. He's a poster boy, I see. Yeah. <laughs> and at 50, your brain starts doing weird things. You'll say things, and then you won't remember that you've said those things. Now, when you get into your 70s and 80s, gone. You don't know what, what you're saying. What is gone? Ma, you said this. I did not. I would not say that. I'm a nice person. Thank you, Mom. That brings us to the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's see how our players are doing.
Well, what we do is we try to go on the road a lot because we don't want people to have to come to LA just to take the test because roughly only about 10 to 15 percent of the people in a room of approximately 75 pass the test. So we try to get to all different areas so that people can come and try out a lot closer than you know coming to LA. Uh, two things, I love the travel. I love being able to travel and I think meeting so many people from different walks of life. I mean they come in here uh, when they're taping the show and we have people from all different occupations, um, locales, and you learn a lot about them. You know, it's, it's real interesting to hear them. They ask you all the, the kind of questions, what happens if I sneeze on the air? What happens if I can't get in on the buzzer? I would make a wonderful contestant as far as understanding how to play the game, when to ring in, answering in the form of a question, but giving the right answers, I don't know if I would be nearly as good. Um, that's where I would fall down.